like the relationship is a rotting corpse with maggots and rigor mortis you know like it's in the fifth stage of like decomposition <laughs> Hello Virgo, welcome to your March um, 2018, as if we don't know what year it is, uh, love reading. Um, I cut out the shuffle so this will be quick so I can get you guys readings up quicker, it takes longer to upload when they're longer, so that we can hop on into the wonderful things that I have for you all in April, okay? So we are going to start with uh well i'll tell you about the cards i have three cards for you and for your cross watcher your person the person you're connecting with whomever they are okay and it's your past influence your present challenge and your future advice or you know guidance outcome what have you <clears throat> and uh so i'm just gonna jump right in um let's see the present challenge that I have for Virgos, let me set their cards. The present challenge I have for you guys is the Queen of Wands, which is a really awesome energy, actually. Queen of Wands, I look at her as like a, um, like a powerful woman who is like an influencer, right? Like she's someone who inspires people who come into her space to just be them like their best self because the way that she presents herself is very assured very confident it's like it's almost like she radiates you know with greatness sounds like a virgo to me <laughs> in your past you guys have the five of pentacles reversed and this lets me know that uh you guys are coming out of a time where you really weren't hearing spirit um you could have potentially you know just kind of been in a tumultuous chaotic kind of situation or you just felt really lost you know um literally left out in the cold it's cold outside and that doesn't look like a north face jacket but what do i know i'm from new orleans 60 degrees is cold to me anywho but yeah it's like you guys are coming out of a time to where you really were not hearing your intuition or you were kind of you know missing the boat in a sense almost like well i'm just gonna be real it's more or less like you guys were getting signs you guys had people coming into your life and telling you things you had a lot of synchronicities like everything pointing in the direction of saying like hey you know it's cold <laughs> you know it's dark out here it's probably not safe why are you still here and go this way and you guys were like yeah, yeah let me just go that way i'm gonna go in the opposite direction just saying in your future position you guys wow okay you guys have the ace of cups reversed interesting okay so all right emotionally unfulfilling you know yes it's not an emotional new beginning this is like being depleted of your emotions like dry as a bone you know feeling empty depleted like a bucket with holes in it okay the romance angel card do i want to do that right now i really don't feel like i want to pull these romance angels i really feel like this should be like some guidance so i'm gonna move on to your person <laughs> so their present energy they have the three of pentacles okay a card about creative ventures and such it's interesting to be under the queen of wands and uh, their past influence they have the eight of wands in the reverse which explains your five of pentacles in the reverse that is um uh, almost like being how do i want to say that like drained because if you look at the card in the upright, it's like she's channeling like life force energy into her solar plexus, right? Because <laughs> I feel like that's what people do when their solar plexus is on fleek. They, you know, pelvic thrust, right? But with that being in the reverse, it's almost like a person being depleted 
of that life force energy. So that emotional center, you know, that very vivacious, vibrant place, your center, you know, that's, uh, that's being drained of energy. There's a whole lot of draining going on here, okay? In their future position, they have, geez, the nine of wands in reverse. Okay, guys, I'm just gonna call it. This sounds like a breakup to me because if we look at these two together, with the, like, the nine of wands in reverse is like giving up. It's like calling it quits, throwing in the towel, whatever, you know, colloquialism you wanna throw up in there. And then with the Ace of Cups, you know, that's like, like I said, bone dry, <laughs> you know, like being depleted of emotional energy. You know what I mean? Feeling that lack of, uh, almost like emotionally unavailable, a lack of a connection. And I mean, okay. Literally what this is looking like for me, y'all, being very honest, it seems like two people who are, I don't want to say bad for each other, but it's like, it's almost like two people that are a hindrance in each other's life. Because, okay. If we look at this situationally, one person's depleted of life force energy, the other person can't hear spirit. I mean, and I'm not necessarily saying per se, I'm not saying that it's anyone's fault. It's just that when we're out of alignment, you know what I mean? And that can happen a lot of times in relationships. When we are with people that aren't in our best interest or a cycle has ended with someone, and we're still kind of holding on for dear life. So we're kind of holding on to the proverbial corpse, you know, like the relationship is a rotting corpse with maggots and rigor mortis, you know, like it's in the fifth stage of like decomposition. I don't even know if there's a fifth stage of decomposition. I just wanted to sound smart. I don't know anything about medical stuff. Or bodies in decomposition states. I know what rigor mortis is. I think that sets in pretty quick. Okay, I'm going off on a tangent. I'm going to stop that. Oh, my battery. At 20%. So, anywho. Um, yeah, it's kind of holding on to a situation that has served its purpose. You see, this comes into, like, karmic cycles or just cycles in general. It's like people come into our lives for, what is it that my granny used to say? for a reason, a season, and something else. But we'll just stick with the reason and the season because I don't know what the other thing is. But it's like, so, and kind of backtracking a little bit, it's like, relationships are so important, okay? Relationships are, like, and I mean relationships, not just romantic relationships, our friendships, our families, our connections with other human beings are imperative because there's a lot of personal work and evolution that we can do on our own. There's another huge, massively huge part of our evolution that comes from the experiences we have with other people, right? So all of our relationships play an integral role in our healing and our uh, growth and our getting to know ourselves. And that's where that season comes in, right? So there's people who come into our lives that aren't in a, yeah, there it is. A reason, a season, or a lifetime. There you go. Thanks, Granny. <laughs> so, um, yeah, a reason, a season, or a lifetime. And when a person is only supposed to be in your life for a particular cycle, when that energy has ended, when that cycle has ended, right? When the lesson has been learned, it's time to release that person, okay? So I think that with you all, um, I think prior to you all being in this state, there was a time where things were like legit the jam, you know, between you guys. And I think over time, as that cycle started to close out, things started to deteriorate. And the reason why they're in the state that they're in now meaning that you guys are depleting each other 
of your internal resources, okay? Depleting each other of your internal resources. That's literally because there's nothing left here for either one of you to learn. So it's time to end this cycle. It's time for both of you to move forward with your journeys, you know? And the thing that I'm seeing in the present challenge is what I'm seeing that the two of you are being called to with the Queen of Wands and the Three of Pentacles is to get into alignment with your purpose. And this is something I see that is so extremely imperative. When we're talking about personal growth, evolution, self-awareness, when we're talking about soul missions and life purposes, I'm a firm believer in the fact that when you are in tune with why it is you are here, like why it is you you decided on incarnating into this earthly plane, you know? When you are in alignment with that, that's true power. That's true purpose, that's true motivation. That's what gets you out of bed in the morning. That's what gets you over like horrendous breakups. That's what keeps you going in impossible situations, no matter how difficult things become. When you know why you're here, or you're even on the path to clarifying or manifesting why it is that you're here, that's something that no one can ever take away from you. People can make you sad, people can piss you off, you know, people can even break your heart. But the thing that's always gonna make you bounce back when you embody this, when you embody that queen of wands energy, like that fire that literally burns at the center of your being, you know, just that innate passion and drive for whatever it is that you're passionate about. When you're in tune with that, it's like you're a guaranteed resurrection every time, okay? <laughs> and the thing that I'm seeing is that I think for both of you, you're being called to step into alignment of with what it is you're supposed to do with your person. It's them, you know, continuing this path of manifesting this creative venture, whatever it may be. For you, it's for you embodying the absolute amazing, like, fire starter that you are. And I even want to go as far as to say revolutionary. I really feel that for you, Virgo, there is something inside of you just beneath the surface that you have not tapped into yet yeah you have gifts yeah you have talents you know you have abilities we know these things you guys are the shiznit okay i get it <laughs> but there's something that i think you could not even begin to fathom that lies deep within and that is not going to be unlocked until you exit the stagnation yeah, until you exit the stagnation. And I, I don't look at it as it being like a blame shifting type of thing. It's not your fault. It's not their fault. It's not that they're holding you back from your purpose. It's not that you're holding them back from theirs. It's just the fact that the two of you are using your free will to stay in a situation that is dead, a cycle that has ended, and neither one of you Going forward, if you don't, you know, challenge yourself and embody what it is that spirit is, is calling you guys to rise up to right now, this is, <laughs> this is what your outcome looks like. It's just, you know, drained emotional energy and literally just giving up, being depleted, being drained, you know, and nobody wants that. 13 minutes. Do you want that? I don't think you want that. But yeah, dude, like that's literally that's literally what I'm seeing for you guys. I'm I'm not even seeing more than one storyline. So this reading most certainly ain't gonna be for everybody. Cause I don't think every single Virgo in the universe <laughs> is going through this. But I always ask to give messages to people who need it. So I'm not really trying to read for everyone or every Virgo, you know? It's just for the people who really need to hear this. And the thing that I'm really seeing for you, Virgo, it's like there is 
there is so much for you that is like literally right around the corner and I, I honestly feel you cannot even fathom it dude it is so magnanimous <laughs> in nature but you have to let this go in order for us to bring new things into our life you know it always comes with sacrifice there's always something that we have to give up and I really feel like this situation is it's like I don't want to well yeah I do want to say codependent I do want to say it I ain't gonna lie but it's like it's a crutch it's literally a crutch you know that you deserve better than this you know that you want more than this you know that this situation is dead you know that there's no life here and I'm saying this to people because mind you as a warning if you're a Virgo and you never thought about your partner this way until you're like oh my gosh is this me this is not your reading but this is for people where what I'm saying is confirmation. These are things that you've been thinking already. You knew that everything I'm saying, you already felt this way about this situation. Like you've done all that you can do. And now it's like, it's no longer adding to you. It's taking away. And that's most certainly not a place that you want to be in. You don't want to surround yourself with situations or people that are taking away from you. Let's get into your romance angels. Okay. Yes. All right. You deserve love. <laughs> you are lovable, Virgo. Yes, you don't need to cling on to this. And I, I can understand why sometimes we want to do that because it's a it's a fear of the unknown. You know, it's better to stick with the devil that you know, you know. But you guys right now, um, I don't want to even say, not necessarily that you guys are running the risk but it's just like, why would you want to continue like this? Why would you want to continue, you know, being out of alignment with spirit, not listening to your intuition, not stepping into this wonderful, amazing life that awaits you? The cycle is done. <laughs> it's done, yo. Dump out that little dirty water. Keep it trucking, babe. Just saying persons you guys are connecting with at 17 minutes okay it may be someone you're married to and if not married living together someone that you're in a serious you know partnership with something that is as serious as marriage if you're not literally married something that's as serious as marriage i guess i don't really know what that means but a situation that mimics marriage, maybe? I don't know. Whatever. A serious committed relationship where y'all act like y'all married if y'all not really married. I don't know. I guess. But yeah, so I mean, if this is the case, I'm a divorcee, peeps. So I, I understand how complex and emotional and difficult that divorce can be. So most certainly you're in good company um, if that be the case, I sincerely apologize. I know, I know how um, emotionally draining divorces can be, but you're gonna get through this, man. Because I mean, and if it makes you feel better, depending on how you feel about the other person, it might not. You might not even care. It's like screw them and their creative project. But I mean, I really feel like the both of you are going to come into alignment with the paths that are for or best for you two. The, this leg of you guys' journey has ended. You know? The fire is out. The candle is no longer lit. You know? Just saying. So, it's time for you guys to move forward. <sighs> yes, that was very heavy. And that's all I got for you, Virgo. That's all I got for you. I mean, I could say, you know, this kind of, I feel like, oh, you know, but there's nothing to really feel down about because like I said, and I will keep reiterating it, you guys are about to walk into your destiny. You guys are about to walk into your purpose. If you have never felt that up until this point, if you've been questioning why you were even here or you felt like you never knew, you're about to know. But first you got to let this go. Okay? There can only be one. Don't know why I just said that. It felt appropriate. So I went with it. 
But I love you nonetheless. If you need to chit chat, you know where to find me. You know, I'm all digitally imprinted and whatnot or whatever on the social medias and the YouTubes and the Facebook and whatnot and the Instagram. I'm also on the instant go, you know, that kind of rhymed. But I'm not gonna waste any more of your time. That also rhymed. I'm really good at this, I'm a poet. Um, I love you, Virgo. I hope that made you smile. But until uh, April, which will be your April reading in a couple of days, I'll talk to you guys then, okay? Deuces.